What is up guys and gals, gals and guys, today is the day we are noticing you are we're on the test account Space Unicorn test in the upper left hand corner. That means and can mean only one thing. There is a new character dropping and I am here to test it out, give you the ins and outs, let you know if this character is good or not and uh, just to show you some gameplay of it. Um, so with that being said, before we get into the video, I need you to do a huge favor, I need you to like, comment and subscribe on the video. Your support is genuinely appreciated and you guys really make this fun for me to make more and more content. I love seeing all the comments that you guys make good, the bad, the ugly. It's fantastic. With that being said, let's roll into this video. Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Are you ready? Because here comes Stella, the newest character of the game. And let's read over this story for her in epic fashion. Stella was originally summoned to Queen Unicorn's court after her advisors re realized that peace can no longer be kept in her absence. Only someone as powerful as the Queen herself stands a chance at getting back to Planet Twinkle. So they choose none other than the good witch Stella, her very own sister. Alrighty guys, so this is still the new character for the game. That is a good skin. I like that skin. As you can see, her hit points 187, damage 47 to 86. Very, very, very fast at 15.5 kilometers an hour, 11.6 while shooting ammo 10 per round. 1.1 second reloads, 50 fire rate, and with an 18 meter range. That is very, very close range. Ultimate ability is the ability to fly. Your broom, fly around the map as you please, shoot stars. Uh, there's something interesting with that we're going to talk about later. Imagine the uh, ultimate ability duration increased by four for the frag power. Let's get into some matches and let's talk about this character. Alrighty, guys, we're going into a match here. Keep in mind that this character is not leveled up. This is how you will get her since she comes out of the box at level three because she is a rare attack card. Man, she is fast. Right off the riff, I'm noticing this card is fast, fast. Oof. So, so fast. Okay. Um, now, she doesn't have a lot of range, uh, very, very, uh, the, honestly, with the cards being used that right now are being used in the meta, range isn't really that big of a deal, um, but if the range, like, flips to where characters are using those ones that have super, ooh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. we gotta test something here, because I think those stars are homing stars, I wasn't aiming them, and I think they were hitting the targets every time they shot. Tower damage is... Oh, actually, tower damage ain't bad. At level 3, so 15, 5, 5, 4. Oh, okay. Okay. That's 27 damage at level 3. That's a lot. That's genuinely a lot. Good damage to the characters. I'm noticing something else though here with her primary fire. Whenever she... Oh, these stars are 100% homing. Oh, boy. Okay, um... That's going to be interesting. That's a strong alt then. Uh, I wonder what the range is on the alt. We're going to test that. Um, I've noticed something with the primary shot. Whenever it hits, it breaks into like three little stars. And those three little stars kind of seem to hit the targets as well. Like at least two to three of them seem to hit. Oh my goodness. That alt. That alt is good. Um, huh. Huh. I'm not sure on that alt. That alt is really, really good, guys. Um, hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if I can hit this. There, you see how the the, the star I shot broke into the, the, the like white blue star I shot broke into three purple stars, and the three purple stars hit, and they do additional damage. So it's kind of like, it's almost like a mobile splash. That's interesting. That's something new to the game. Oh my goodness, this, this homing thing is ridiculous. Holy crap, the homing thing's ridiculous. Like I said, it is a level three card. This is out of the box, but... Man, that's interesting. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to... Mm, I don't know on that one. I don't know about that homing star. That's a... That's a rough... There, you see what I mean? Breaking into the little purple stars, and down they go. Boom. That's good damage, too. 48, 18, 18. That's really good damage uh, for a level 3 card. Uh, boy, this... If, if my math is rough correct here, uh, if it's doing that at level 3... It's going to be doing about the same amount of damage as Arkin. Um, that's that's going to be interesting to see how that goes right there. Uh, fly into the sky. That's interesting. I, I'm very curious to see. Like I said, we're going to do multiple videos on this character just so we can get a feel for it. And you guys can kind of see um, what, what's going on. But right now, I'm liking the design. 
Uh, and actually, the broomstick's the best part of the whole design because it, if you notice, uh, I'll do it here in a little bit, but it, it uh, color changes. You'll see what I mean. It's like blue to purple, blue to purple, and then whenever it reloads, it swirls and does a color change as well, which I think is really cool. It's little things like that that I really enjoy. Man, this ultimate ability, though. This ultimate ability is really strong, guys. We're going to get into another match. Um, this time we're going to go to Street Frag. We're going to see how she does on that. Uh, I'm interested in seeing what happens here. Uh, let's get into the next match. Alrighty, we're going to the next match here. Alright, so there's a lot of things we got to figure out here. Um, I am, I'm a little bit of a loss for the ultimate ability here. Because the ultimate ability, it's literally... Uh, the, the, you don't you aren't even aiming you just point in the general direction of a character and it's a guaranteed kill essentially it's it, if you're really good with her which I'm sure people will be eventually it's gonna be two to three kills that ultimate ability is really really strong um, primary fire the lack of range is gonna hold it back and I think that's kind of a, a power check for the character um, because the fact is is that even whenever I was manually firing her uh, she was limited by that that range um, which was good because, like I said, she's super, super fast. Very small hitbox. But actually has a lot of health uh, for an attack card. At least a, what I would classify as a squishy attack card. Look at this. Holy smokes. And that's the game. Let's move into a, a, a payload match and see what happens. Um, I've got some opinions on this character, but we'll be waiting to grade her until we face a real opponent. Alrighty guys, rolling into the final match with Stella for this video. Um, let's, I just want to touch on everything and just kind of in general. Um, as I stated at the end of the last match, um, we're not going to grade this character until we play him against real players because you don't get a realistic grade or a feel for a character against bots. You have to play it against a real player. Um, super, 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 super important. Um, eh, I died there too, which that kind of sucks, but gives us a chance to talk, you know. Um, so the primary fire is interesting. I like the fact that it breaks into the, the, the three purple stars. I do wonder if the damage is too high. Um, not saying it is. Uh, I'm just wondering right now. She's holding her own. Homing star. Oh, he's shot me out of the air. Oh, you dirty bugger. <laughs> The homing stars, though. Those homing stars. That... Alright, so primary fire is actually pretty good. Uh, the reason I say the primary fire is good is because of the fact that it has such a limited range. The character is greatly limited by the range of the character. And that is important um, whenever you have a character that feels like this one does. Um, she feels strong right now, guys. And I, I'll, I'll get more testing matches in with her. Homing stars away. Look at this. Look at that. It just locks on instant kills. Instant kills. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a Slayer card right here. Holy smokes. Just for the alt alone. There we go. Nice damage there. Tower damage is pretty good as well for a level 3. Um, we'll have to see what the multiplier is. We're going to level them up uh, for the next few videos as well. So we can get a really good feel for what's going on here. But overall, high movement speed, small hitbox. The ability to fly like Aika used to be able to, but just with a hitbox that's a third the size. Uh, much faster than the... Actually, honestly, she. I think she's faster than Striker. I think Striker's 15. Actually, no, I think the same speed as Striker. I think they're both 15.5. So she's as fast as Striker with a smallest, smaller hitbox than Striker. More health than Striker. Oof. That's just basically to sum up this character, guys. Like, we're going to get more in-depth with her in the next couple videos, but you guys get to see some very, very early gameplay for her uh, and just kind of get a good feel for what's going on with this character. <laughs> These homing stars are ridiculous. Um, <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about this more, guys, once I play around with her some more. Again. This is like a, literally a raw reaction. This is my first time seeing the character. First time reacting to her. I hope you guys enjoyed If you did, come back for the next one. More Stella videos coming.